This week in 3D Archery, I got another box in the mail. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery, Greg here. Alright, I've been looking for some foam for a project. It's called a muzzy shoot to make some targets. And I was looking around, comparing prices, and I stumbled on this company, which seems to be a pretty good deal. Now, you might be wondering what's a muzzy target, and I'll show you that later on in the video. But let's talk about the foam. It's made by a place called the Foam Factory, and it's called their target foam. Um, the size is 2 inches by 24 by 23, approximate, and it goes for $17.99 plus shipping and handling. Now the description of it's pretty simple. It's a polyurethane foam, which makes for an outstanding archery target because of the high six pound density. That's um, the thickness of the foam, how much resistance and all that good stuff, I guess. It slows an arrow to penetrate the foam and stick to the mark without going through the foam or just bouncing off of it. That's the product description. Now if you're looking for it, just go to www.foam mail.com and I ordered mine I ordered two pieces it took um, about a week to get there it wasn't bad I didn't have a rush on it all right so let's take a look at it and see what we got so you can see the size of my box pretty big let's cut this baby open and see what I got for target for all right Well, glad to see that whoever packaged this is a person after my own heart. They winged it. Oh yeah, not bad. Look at that. All right, let's measure it. Two, two and a half feet, 24 and a half. Two and a half feet, 24 and a half. I like symmetry. And it is exactly two inches thick. All right. Um, you know what? This might be exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Nice and heavy. Um, I was reading online. Most people gave it five stars. One person said if you shoot it with a 70-pound bow, it will pass through. But if you put two of them back to back, it stops them with ease. I'm making mine for trad archers. And... Uh, I don't think no 70 pound longbow or anything will go through this. All right, so there it is. So let's take it out and let's give it some testing. All right, everybody, here we are out at the range, of course. Um, chance of rain, so I'm going to try to get all this in. First up is two tests. One, will it stop an arrow? One sheet, 10 yards. I got two different bows. Um, 30 pounder and a 50. We'll see what's going on. And then the second, so we're going to see if I pull the arrow out, how much does the foam actually heal? All right, so let's see if I'll stop the bow for my stealth hunter. I'm less than 10 yards away. And stopped it. Now for my next one. All right, on the next one, we're going to up the ante and shoot a really thick arrow made of wood. Got a ant on my, my bow. All right, let's go down, take a look. Here we are down range. That's how much penetration we got. Wood from a 50. Smaller arrow, 30 pounder. All right, give it a little, there you go. Now you can get some contrast, so not bad. So the next one we're gonna do, pull these out and let's see if this foam actually heals. Oh my God. <clears throat>
Okay, everybody, it's been a few minutes. I let it sit. You know what? Small indentations here, here. I mean, very small, but it definitely heals up pretty good. So there you have it, right? It's pretty neat. Now, I think it's Delta McKenzie or Morel offers a foam block, and it's nowhere near this size, and it's almost like, I think it's $22 to $25. So for $17.99, you can get a lot bigger chunk of it. So, you know, it's a great alternative for those of you looking for um, a backstop, maybe making a foam target, cutting it out, painting it on there, which I'll show you some pictures over here from a nice girl in Austria, guy, people, how about that, All right, who do a great job and they do some fantastic work. So if you want to make some unique targets, you can cut them out of this, shoot them, you can see they heal and they are reusable. You got a backstop. This makes a perfect butt size put your archery paper target on there and shoot it just build a frame around it to hold it in and I think you'd be in good shape if you think your bow's too strong take two of them I bet the two of them will stop it all right so there you have it now I, earlier I was talking I said I'd get back to it about I'm using it for a muzzy shoot well I'll show you what a muzzy is so what we do is we take these targets we cut them down to this size put a black dot on them then we make a piece of wood that's a conveyor belt, some rebar, stick it in the ground, put the arrow on it, and when you hit it, it knocks the target off. It's an interactive target. It's a lot of fun. A lot of ways to do the rules of the muzzy, which I'll cover real quick. Set of stations. You can either have one target per station or two. Your choice. People shoot in groups of two. First person comes up. If he hits it, he gets a point. They go to the next station. The other person goes, you always alternate. And at the end of the stations, whoever has the most points is the winner. Now, if you're using two, and the first guy shoots and hits it, he gets to shoot first on the second target. But if he misses on the first one, then the second person shoots. If they hit it, they get to go first on the second target. If they miss, the first person goes first, all right? It's a lot of fun, and that's what I'm building here at the club I belong to, Taiyogi. One of these, a muzzy shoot. We're going to call it a knock -a block, just so I don't infringe. Muzzy came from the guy John Mustasha and his muzzy broadheads. He was promoting them, and that's how he did it. And I don't want to infringe on that, but we are going to steal his idea, which I think he borrowed from anybody. Somebody, anyways. We're going to call it either a knock -a block or knock them down. All right, there you have it. Foam Factories Archery Target, $17.99 for a two inch by two foot by two foot section. I think it's a fantastic deal. I think it's, like I said, great for a backstop or making some targets or some muzzy targets. But there you have it. Just something else I found that I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all new episode of 3D Archery. Mm -hmm.